What's going on? Benji Kaiser here today talking about the best photo editing laptops. And I know you're busy. I know you got a lot of things going on. So I'm going to dive right in. This is going to be a short video, just getting you what you need, some recommendations, some tips and the specs for a photo editing laptop coming at you right now. All right, now if you're curious about the exact prices, the exact specs of each of the models listed below, you can head down there, click the link that is an affiliate link. I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps these videos alive and the helpful information coming your way. All right, so the first thing I wanna look at is the screen size and color accuracy. I think screen size can be very important if you're somebody who's on the go a lot and you wanna proof photos while you're on location. This would be super helpful because you can either hook directly into your computer from your camera and look at the shots live as you're shooting to make sure you're getting the color tones, make sure you're getting the shading and the shadows right, make sure the images are sharp and crisp. Um, you don't want to wait till you get back to the office to then see that you ruined an entire shoot because half of your photos were out of focus. I mean, it happens. So that's why a really good size screen, whether 15 to 17 inches, could be really good for you on location. Proof your photos, whether hooked directly in or drop in your SD card to check things out. The next thing that is super important is color accuracy. So color accuracy is categorized by, you know, an RGB color range. How much of the RGB color range can a computer see? And a good color range is anywhere from 87 to 100%. And the computers I have listed below all are within that color range. And I'll actually list the color range right next to the model. So when you go to click on it, you know exactly what you'll be getting. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is the performance. So the performance is something that I'm really excited about because you don't need a ton of performance for a photo editing laptop. Now, if you're somebody who's considering getting into video editing, if you're somebody who's considering getting into motion design, then I have another video for you that is the best photo editing and video editing computer. So the com combination of the two. Um, so head on over and check out that video if that is your uh, specialty or what you're looking to get into. But for now, we're specifically talking about photo editing. You need an i5, at least an i5 processor for photo editing. It's because when it comes to Photoshop and the tasks you're gonna be doing to edit photos, it takes a lot of power to run Photoshop. And so you wanna have at least that i5. And if you can swing an i7, I would recommend going for that. The next thing I would recommend is no less than eight gigs of RAM. I personally lean towards 16 gigs of RAM. That's what I have people do because say you wanna be on the internet, uh, you wanna have a few browser windows open and you wanna be editing photos somewhat simultaneously, as well as listening to music. You don't wanna pull so much RAM away from your workflow that you're starting to slow down in Photoshop and you start to slow down your workflow and spend more time than you actually have to. So 16 gigs of RAM is what I really recommend, um, but you can get away with eight. If you can push it all the way to 32, have at it. That is the, that's really good. And most laptops uh, today max out at around 32. It's what they're capable of. All right, the next thing I wanna look at is the GPU, the graphics processing unit. This is something that you do not need to be concerned about as far as photo editing is concerned. Um, you just need really the basic integrated graphics processing unit, which for most computers is like an Intel 620. Um, but like I mentioned, if you're gonna get into video editing, you're gonna want a little bit higher GPU. You can check that out in the other video. All right, now I wanna talk about the hard drive. Hard disk drive versus solid state hard drive. For photo editing and working in Photoshop, the solid state hard drive is the way to go. You're gonna get faster read and write times, the programs are gonna run faster, it's gonna be smoother and more reliable. So that is my recommendation as far as the performance is concerned. Now again, if you're curious about the exact laptops I'm recommending, you can check those out in the description below. Those are affiliate links and I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And I'm greatly appreciative of when y'all use those links. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I thank you so much for giving me some of your time today, and I'll see you on the next episode.